Sorry about that. It just cut off. I'm not going to have to charge a battery, but I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> Demons of darkness will not overcome me. No, no way <clears throat> they will overcome me. Right. So, um, sorry about Goody. Yeah, I think it's the time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I want to show you something simple today. Um, I messed up my bed head with all the powder and everything. So I messed up my bed. So I'm going to have to get a new bed. Yeah, I love it to Melissa. Melissa, I messed up the bed, right? So I, I do the bed with some spray paint like that. And I'm a little bit like this because I love this bed. My son had bought me this bed. And because of the bug thing, I put the powder on it. It kind of mess it up. So all we are looking at these right here, looking at them bright color, right that? And the powder. So I put the spray of it kind of try, I couldn't get it out. We end up putting more powder upon it again because the thing here, I told you, until I could get out of here, it's crazy what's going on in here with me. But God is good <clears throat> and so forth. Um, Basically, see the better is like this. <clears throat> so I want to teach you something. What you can do, if you just want to do a fashion and a style too, you can do this. I know they're going to steal this. A lot of people are going to steal this now and they're going to try to do it for themselves. But I'm going to show you how to design. My son is like, Mommy, you're good at design, you know. The bed head. You see the bed head? Um, it's like the way it is. <laughs> so it's a piece of material that you can buy. Most of the material store, they sell this kind of material. So you can go to the material store and you can buy a piece of this. You can buy a yard, it depends. Uh, this is a queen size bed. So this is a queen size bed. So with a queen size bed, you could just get a, a yard, I think. This is like a yard. You can get two yard. And then whatever. If you don't have a good bed head, just have a piece of wood in or whatever bed head you have, or you just want to make a bed head and put this to the wall. If you don't have a bed head, you can just put this to the wall, eye bed head, and then um, get it um, screwed onto the wall. I mean, tack it onto the wall or whatever way you can get to get it on the wall. You can spread across and put a rubber bed in and make like a bed, right? Put the pillows towards it and it's nice, just the same. So I bought this piece, right? So what you will do with this, <clears throat> you put it over your bed like this. Because the powder messed up my bed, I'm going to stop putting the powder on it to get, get out of here, because, so. <clears throat> put it like that, I'm going to show you. Put it like this, bring it down. Put it over a little bit, not too much. <clears throat> you put it over like that. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it. Right? And once you put it over the bed like this, you can pull it back towards right here. And what you're gonna do with the piece right here, you're just gonna tap it in with your hands. Right? Sides, sides, right? Look, you can get whatever color you want. You can get green, you can get white, you can get pink, you can get yellow, you can get black, whatever color you you like. And you put it over. Any better you want, put it over, and it's nice, same way, right? You can wash it whenever you want to wash it. You put your pillow against it. Support them, Mr. Palm, sheet them. I lose so much stuff. I'm like a pillow them, like a green pillow, everything gone in the garbage, everything gone out. That's all I have left of it, you know? <clears throat> and you put it, <clears throat> and that's it. Look. That's it. Yours. <clears throat> I'm going to soak my drink when I drink nothing bad. I must have the noodle thing. When I the noodle come, my body can't take nothing natural. So probably it's the noodle, <clears throat> the pack I'm use. It's still properly. That's it. Right? It's easy. So this will cost you like $22. This will cost you like $22 for that piece. Like $22, right? And that's it. You're good to go and it's beautiful. You can put on a color you want if you match up sheets. If you have black or you design a bed with something you want to have a little bit different look, you just buy a piece like that and you just put it on there. You can wash it when you sheet them dry it and low dry. Don't dry it and eye dry. 
put it on um, fragile dry. Come and wash this, we put it on fragile. If you dry, you don't want to burn up the, 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 the fur, the man is something, something where you stay. Right? And get your nappy nappy up. You want to stay the same way. And that's it. When you go to go. You don't worry about the bed and this and that. Just buy something and just get it covered like that. You understand? You can take it off and wash it when you're ready. And that's it. And it's soft and it's beautiful, man. It's very soft and furry, see? Very soft. They have something I can't wash because of this thing in this place here. So that, that's what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Yes, my loved ones. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can, um, I'm trying to find the thing back to switch back this thing around. What's where it goes? Where do you go? No. Camera around. Okay. Yeah, goody. So <clears throat> that's that's a good way, you know what I mean? Just live simple. Live simple. You know, I've got to spend the money buying a toes and that with a bit better there. Because when you gotta move, you gotta get rid of that stuff. I leave that bit behind because something I don't want to move with the same bed. I move me, I go move with this, I'm gonna throw it away. And get a new bed because it's new energy. I can't sleep on the same bed, the same place I move. I move somewhere else with it. No more different energy. So I have to buy a new bed everywhere I go. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you so much, NBA. Well, NBA, wait a long time in the air fryer. What, 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 mm? what, what, baby? Long time in the air fryer, man. And you're good, me glad. So, no, all right, you know. Because whole life I go right now, not no promising for tomorrow. So, me glad, so, no, all right. Um, I like Jamaicans, but they are little. In what? I also don't like Jamaica, but they are. They are a little in. Isn't it like Samuel Max? Get your rascal out of here. Come off here, because we are Jamaican over here. Not that we like Jamaican, but this is a fine fall. Go fine fall to your dirty crutches, but us don't pray. Come off here, go somewhere to mix up and come over here with it. You like us, you like Jamaica, I like every kind of people. Whether it's Jamaican, whether it's Guyanese, whether it's Grenada, any of them, like my, my people like everybody. So if you're not saying that you like Jamaican, but in this and that, you come, you like, but, but, nobody not find fault of who you is. Nobody not, listen, don't do that, don't come over here and do it. If I see your name, Beast, I don't want to really apply to your thing, and I come see the name. And I don't like your name, Beast, you like a cover, co cover, cover nastiness, Beast. Don't, don't, don't come over here and talk about like Jamaican, but them this and that. Don't rass come over here. Don't come over here. Go broke your neck somewhere else. You, you love, love everybody. You don't know, like some because them this. You're you God. You can't tell people how they're going to be. If somebody's not right, they're not right. Even in every nation, there's people not right in every nation. There's people right in every nation. So now what you talk about? It's good and bad in every goddamn nation. So come off and take your rass clout and come off here. You're not seeing myself today. Don't come and come talk about what you like and then because them this and like Max and this. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, really? Don't do that, man. Come off of this rass, man. Don't do that. NBA, I see you. Oh, you see me on YouTube, NBA. You see me. Oh, that's another that worry. Okay, I'm going see you. I'm going see you, man. How you doing? Everything good? Hope everything good enough. I'm a pray for you all the time. Now, need me a prayer, I'm a great man. Madness in here, I pray for all of you, no man. I pray for all of you, no compromise, and I pray for myself because we have some tough time coming up. Me the idiot, then go and run them out. Cause them a dopey, me then go and run them out. We know what we stand for. We stand for power and strength. We stand with our faith in Yeshua. We now nah let go that because we know say soon without that, them a go run wild. And we're going to hear my run while I'm doing it. We're going to come out and walk over for them body. They don't pan ground. I don't want to talk about them this and that and cussy and this and that. Think cool, girl. Tell me the same stink cool like you're going to have them. <laughs> and the same stink cool like you're going to have them, darling. Make it stay there, stink and keep it away there. It's going to carry go even the same stink cool like you're going to have them. Hello? Please. And the same stink cool like you're going to have them, darling. But then go on. <laughs> and the I. Meant on Facebook. Oh, you see me on Facebook. Oh, you see it. Okay. Thank you so much. Lady Catherine, what's up? What's up? Say, what's up, goody? What's up, Lady Catherine? What's going on, the baby? <laughs> there, man. There, I thank God for another day, you know? 
So, Pina B, what you up to? Love the color. You love the color? Yeah, you can just buy a piece, right? Go there and do your thing, you know what I mean? But as I show you all the thing where you can use. You know, I come up with something by myself, I like to share with you. I come up with that and come up with the idea of it. And it's was a good idea, it worked out, you know what I mean? <laughs> I try a thing, you know what I mean? I try a thing and it work out, man, so you can't have the same. Yeah, but my soon, my soon gone again, good yes, I finally get my apartment. I don't know yet, I don't get my real apartment yet. This is just a catch stage. I wouldn't really say I get my real apartment yet, but I say I just catch me a catch right now. I catch it myself, but I still catch me a catch right now. Because this is not really a real apartment, it's like a fake apartment, but I catch right now until better come. I catch until better come, because look, you see water coming, when rain, when rain fall, when the water coming, water coming again. All this wet, wet in a yellow pan of water, wet, wet, wet up the whole ass. So look, I pay water yellow pan soaking in place. I'm a painting center because I said I eat out. I do all them job down with the water wet, you know. I do all of that and still pay my bills. I just get tired with it. No, I just get tired with it. To be honest with you, round this so wet up to. Round this so. On the other side, I'm sure. Round this so wet up to. See wet up there. Tell the powder wet up on the ground. See wet powder there. Which all white powder wet up. See everything wet up. At the side, I'm just going to show you. So I just feel no one till me can get something better, you know what I mean? I mean, the day it was good, I can't come out of the shelter, but the time to move up soon again, because this now go, this now go make it for me. You see now, um, <clears throat> you never really get my rent, and if you look on this now, see, I'm going to take out the water, the sink here, and wash out the sink here. I've been living like this for the last five months. When I don't wash out something, I don't wash out the bill out the water and carry the toilet and flush it. So for the last five months or so, I live in, don't pay my bills. You know, I'm gonna get it fixed. The gentleman said I was gonna fix me, get them one, but they never fixed. So, I'm not gonna argue with people for fix things and getting a problem with argument. I'm not gonna do that. Just leave it alone and try to get something. So, that, 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 their problem. Look, water coming from the side of the back. So, the, so the wet up, up here, water, and I guess so. But just see, in a too long while ago, man, so water coming as I leak up the whole box, and it looks water, so, you know, wet up. You can't see it. Wet, 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 wet water. Leak all the way to the garden in the fridge. You see? And so on. So I just saw it come if it dry it up, dry it up. So now it's just temporary good till I get something better, baby. No, I'm gonna keep nothing for all of make one know the truth. I'm gonna lie to one. One thing I'm gonna lie to one. If I just go on, no one till me can get something. That's the best thing. Because hopefully I get something, you know. I don't know when, but <coughs> God will make a way, you know. Yes, thank you, baby. Yeah, but it's better at least me get out the shelter, you know. At least me get out the shelter, but me spend a lot, man. Me spend a lot since me been here. Me spend a whole lot. Good, me spend a good piece of money. So me spend a good amount, a good piece of money. Me spend some day, man, by buying bed and buying this and buying everything. Cause I got about a good twenty thousand dollars me spend since me there. Mm. Me come to real estate and me pay, you know what I mean? And me don't pay, but it's about me spend about nine thousand something dollar per year so already. You know what I mean? Right, 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 Swan. Yes, yes, I know. I know, I know. I know. And all my things, I'm lose a lot. I'm around 3,000 dollars of stuff. I'm losing at them. The bonnet, them on me, I sell goody. The water bonnet, I look a bug, them go in the bonnet, them. And I have to wash out the bonnet so I can't sell them more. So I lose 1400 dollars in a bonnet. I lose around 3,000 clothes with clothes on the carpet, them and things. I feel just dash them away. When I come back, somebody dig them out in the yard. I put them outside and I wash them up. They can do them all one time. And when I come back one day, somebody dig them out and I put them back in the bag. And I come back the next day, somebody fuck messing with my spirit. And they go and dig them out again to get me cross. So I say, you know what, that was it. So I just throw them away. I throw them away because it's too much voodoo stuff outside. And I don't know what been pouring to my stuff. So I throw them away because I don't want to carry them inside and wear them again. So I dash them away. Because what I saw outside of the energy, this thing here, it's it's bad. So I had to throw away all the things there. I couldn't take my go wash them and put them on my skin again because of the energy outside. So I throw them away. The energy inside, but it was more inside, a lot more, more, more outside. Because I chase it from the inside. But as you go outside, you can feel it. So pull up at the gate, you could feel the energy. A lot more people that bring me a taxi as they come and say, man, I could feel the energy in this place. You know, and so on. So, yeah, so, yeah. But God has to bring you some places sometime and teach you a lesson, you know. You got to learn. <clears throat> you just have to learn. You take what you can get when you can get it. At least I get out, but God will help me to get something better. You know, it's just how you work to what you work to God. God works for you. It's just how it goes. 
you know, God not going to pick you up and put you in this big place like this and you go go get against him and turn and all kind of, take you, I'm sure you're where I bring you from. You got to show the people where he's bringing you from, right? So if they trust him and they see how far he can bring you. So that is the point of not, you know, this, this is to something else. And while something else is providing for me, he let me stay here while he's getting it ready for me. You understand what I'm saying to you? I just saw it go. I belt something I can't. More that soup though. I told her about the water. Well, if I can't, I didn't cook something. I don't know what is there. I could look about for cook now. The most I could probably do some of them small noodles. I'm going to have a piece of broccoli. I'm going to have no um, kale. I'm going to cook the broccoli and sit down and cook up some of that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get sweet pepper. I'm going to go roll. I get sweet pepper coming in. But the sweet pepper yesterday, I'm going to go buy the other stuff. They made sweet pepper, tomato, and stuff like that. So I'm going to roll and get the sweet pepper and sit down and come back and cook up that. So I have something to eat. I can't eat any anything, that's the thing. Right now, because I just come out for the thing. Because I cook up that thing aside now, but I'm not supposed to eat no sardine or nothing like that because eggs still inside me with hatch. That's the thing. Starve me, man. That thing starve me, goody. That thing make me maga, man, because you know, the more you eat, and the more worm you have. When you, when you get them, if you try to get rid of them, you can't just let them be and just eat, 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 eat. That's why I never eat for them days. Because I eat for them days, they wouldn't be coming out. Because when you go to the bathroom, you're going to be letting out feces. You're not going to see no worm. But when you eat not you see the worm, them string coming out. Because it's not in your stomach, just water. So when you come out with them, you see some big, long, same thing. When I'm big like a snake. I was so frightened when that thing came out and me full up of blood. Me never think me never make it, you know. These are what taking your HIV. These are what your herpes and the nasty sickness on your body and start breed up in your body and your sickness. That's what it is. It's nasty. Imagine that when we go back to me, have no smell when we go back to me. He has no smell because I'm not eating on any kind of thing. I'm drink no milk, no cheese, no this, no that, no egg. You know, I'm not eating no bread, no sandwiches or nothing like that. You know, bread type, no sugar type, no nothing like that, right? But you can't imagine the people are eating that every day, cookies, every kind of meat, and then belly big so in front of them. That's something I'm afraid for, brother. You better your mother and your belly clean, that you have a big bottom and your belly big and full of worm. Because you pass that worm on to somebody else, you'll give them disease. You're going to give that person some transmitted disease with them worm. You're going to have to clean it and you'll turn around and say, somebody give you a disease. You are the worms inside you. That's what it is. You know, I was talking to a friend yesterday. I was like, no, that's the worm. It's the worms why you feel like you have herpes and sitting there with a doctor. The worm, I do it. You know, no herpes. It's just the worms just in the chicken and the beef and it's something we are eating in your body to breed them up. And I'm a pinworm. I come to your bottom at night time and I lay eggs between your butt and your private ear and I eat you and cause rash. You don't have no herpes. Is the food you eat. If you stop eating that stuff and wash out your stuff and get rid and wash out and get rid of them worms, even if you're not get rid of them completely gone and you're working, you will not have no symptoms. You will not have them problem then. Symptoms are like that. Because the problem is them in your gut. The gut needs to be clean. Once your inside cleans, constantly clean all the time. You constantly clean your inside all the time. And you're not just eating pork, beef, chicken, everything. Do one at time. Just lapping on the bed. Big overweight, your belly hang down, your fat, it stinks, stinks, stink. And you go back to me, it stink that me, you're really rotten inside, a lot of worm in that. You know what I mean? Can you imagine me have a lot of worm? I mean, I eat none of that, much less somebody will do like that. Can you imagine? And it's something that we come about, so people constantly take worm medicine. Remember when you're young in Jamaica, how your parents would like give you worm medicine? Every time they had to give you a washout, and one time they do it, you don't do it at time, and then go back and do it one next time, and do it one next time again. It's a constant thing. You have to go all the way and constantly clean them. It's a worm almost trying to enter your body all the time, so you have to constantly clean them. Yeah. Miss Phyllis, Simone Phillips, uh, Olivet. Yes, Simone, I'm here, baby. I'm here, honey. I'm here, Simone. I'm here. I'm seeing you, baby. I'm seeing you now. Yeah. Do you follow Dr. Saber for your feed? No, I follow alkalinejungle.com. That's where I get my feed, my, my stuff from. But it's mostly like Dr. Herb. Same teaching, same kind of stuff, I guess. Alkalinejungle.com. I get all the alkaline needs there. You see my ears still I got grey up. You see my ears still goody. But the braid it has something. I mean natural ear, I mean natural ear, nappy nappy and roll up any of us want to grow up, I just braid it with the ear night. But you look alright, that's natural it grow up. See the ear night? Grow up. Natural. I'm this song I'm braid this thing to make my ear grow. 
So I'm pretty sick with me here, grow man. <laughs> you know, I do this again. It take too long, brother. It take too long. It take too long, but it can't convenient. I just roll up here and tie me and go with my business. I'm not really wearing my ear out like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not wearing this out. I just tie it up with the cloth over and go, but it's alright for me because when I wake up and be and I'm wash it out with water and dry it, I'm gone. And put oil on the roots of my ear can go and grow. So it's convenient for me and wear, you know, but I'm not, um, I'm not wear it out. I'm not wear it out like that. The time here all the time. I go up on the road, I tie me, I cover my head all the time. I'm on the road, cover my head all the time. All right. Okay. So go ahead and get ready. I love you. I love you, mama. And God bless you always. Okay. You know, you're my boo boo. You're clean hearted, good woman, man. You're very good woman, clean hearted woman. Very good. God bless you. Yes, S double. Yeah, man. So yes, we may talk about, right? Let me take my time and take my time until we get there, you know? Just everything takes time. Everything takes time. Nothing is done in one day. But one thing you have is your spirit. <clears throat> one thing you have is God and God will never leave you. No, no, no. See this room. Where is your have? When I come off of the phone, you know. I you going to do what you going to do? Where is your have? Come and them shimmer up, man. If I take up my weights, I put my weights in my work with all my hand them now. Because the amount of weight to me lose. For me not eat all them days there, trust me. I'm going arm them. I don't cream, I don't eat, I go water alone, I drink. Mm. Yeah? Coming to that time, that's where we have to get ready from now, because it can be a time we have no food for it, and we have food for it, we can eat it. We don't go on. So you have to get yourself ready and be strong for the evil. Em. You have to get ready because your demon spirit is coming to attack you. When you have a demon, what they do, they're always trying to get your attention. What's what a demon does? Okay, let me tell you what a demon does. They're always trying to get your attention. You will leave and go somewhere, you come back and find something in your way. You that piece of stick cross where if you walk away. But the demons, you come out of the house before you're not at the house in the bathroom. Make him go to the bathroom for you. Take a stick and put it on the map, a bucket with water, and put the broomstick on the map across. So many of you enter the bathroom. So these are things what demon does. You have to know what demon does. They're trying to get you in their mind. They don't want you to have a peace of mind by yourself to think. They always have to show up and do something for you to see it. Because they want to keep you in... What the narcissist does, the narcissist casts a spell on you. So they could live inside your head. You realize somebody you don't... You don't... That's a narcissist spirit. That's a demonic spirit. So they look at you and when they're looking at you and talking to you, not knowing that by the time they're looking at you and talking, they're casting spell on you at the same time. And you might have a simple conversation when you walk away, you have spells on you. Because they are the child of the devil, they know how to do that. They just look work one look, they can look at you and cast a spell on you. Because that's what they are, witches and warlocks. Yes, reaction. Because it's a reaction, a re reactor. Yeah. Because it really actor really actually I can't even figure out and pronounce his name properly. Yes, I'm here. Melissa here. They crave unwanted attention. Yes, Melissa, they crave unwanted attention, Melissa. Because guess what? That's what they use to take the energy from you. If they can get your attention and get you to argue with them, that's the best thing in the world, right? If if they can get you to argue with them, if a person come to you, right? They see you like the demons see you like they know who you are. Okay? You don't have to do them anything. They will just come. They will knock on your door for you to come talk to them for no reason at all. You have a big friend like that. Or if you don't, they're going to start arguing with you. They're going to invite you to their house. And if you don't, they start to dislike you right away because you don't come in their house or go to their house. Because the demons want to invite you in to get a hold on you properly. That means that when they get an all on you, you're going to walk out being a mad person, a crazy person. You're full of demons. From then, they possess you so badly. So they want you to be inside so they can perform more ritual on you. That's why it's not quick to go in people's house. It's not quick for a girl house or a boy house or come over, man. We can hang out, man. No. You have to realize the time you're in right now is critical and you're a god. And it's critical because of your light and they see your light. That's why many times they invite you to come to the apartment and you never come back out. You end up dying. 
You end up dying there because somebody in there with their makeup together, they all three of them snuff you out. They know that it was going to do that to you before you come there, but because of your light. So when you have the light of God, God limits you to who your friends are. He limits you to the places that you go, like bars, clubs, picking up whores, sleeping with unclean women, sleeping unclean women. God limits you from these things. Because you know that in these things is where all the evil will come and get you and finish you. From that prostitute woman, from that unclean woman, giving you unclean sex, from that unclean man, giving you unclean sex and unclean money. He knows that. So he pull you away so you have no sugar daddy. He pull you away from all these things that he knew that's going to cast debt upon you. He's not ready for you to die because you're a child of God. So because you're a child of God, he's going to show you where to walk and who to deal with. You can't deal with certain women and talk about you're looking for love from them. You can't look in love from a demons. Because a demon don't even love themselves because they don't have a soul to love. You can't look at a woman's body and say, damn, she's so fine. I want to be with her because she's so pretty. That's where the demons come and possess you and lead you down the wrong track. You can walk up to a woman that's very attractive and you start talking to her. Two words. I might think, thinking, man, the way she looks, she's not going to want me. Of course she's going to want you. Because she's a demon. And when you come to her, she knows exactly what she wants from you. You might think that, oh, she's so hot and I'm trying to get with her, man, blah, blah, blah. Man, she give me her number, whatever. Yeah. Because she knows what she wants from you. She's a demon. She wants to suck your energy. Six months down the line, you're seeing problems, you're skinny, you're mag, I don't things are going bad for you, lose your job, you have your car, you lose your car, you lose your house, problem happen to you, pity dead, all kind of something to you, through the same woman that you meet, through the same devil that you meet. You can meet a woman and say, oh, she's so ugly and this and that. Looks of the face doesn't matter, it's the heart of the face. Because first of all, they talk about looks and pretty, what they call pretty really. Beauty comes from the inside out. That's where the beauty comes from. That's why I see some women and some men. Why is she so ugly and she has such a good husband? Because she has good attitude. She has a good way about herself. She has a sweet soul inside. So you're attracted to a woman because she has on all this beautiful makeup. Because she got a Brazilian done and all these things. You're, you're so attractive because she like this and I broke your neck. But you can't broke your neck for a normal girl. A piece of tired upon her head. She tired her head with a piece of cloth and she's a decent girl. That love God. She have a nice body underneath her clothes. She might not be exposed in her body like they do. That doesn't mean she doesn't have a nice body. But she have a good mind and a clean mind. And that's a woman is not going to go cheat on you. That's a woman is not going to break God's law to lose her soul and to infest her body with demons. But no, you're not going to want her. You want the one with the long lash and the makeup and the back, the out and the big... Everybody say, man, I'm going to get her just to show everybody I could get her. You're getting demons in your life. And when you lose, you wonder why you lose. You lose because you play the game to lose. You lose because you're on your hat where you wanted to lose. Because a woman that was sent natural, beautiful woman, you wouldn't want her because she's too natural. She look ugly without me, a and Tono. We see a lot of men pick up women from TikTok and go and date, and when a woman go to meet them, it cause a big problem because a woman go natural. And he was like, no, no, get up my car, bro. I know you look, look why you look like this. Why you don't want to send a picture? That's not a... But the girl look beautiful, natural. You see that girl, she looks so beautiful, natural, without no makeup. Why would any man want to turn you down because you saw a picture with makeup and you see you're natural and beautiful? That's the best way to come. You don't come back on the day to the same makeup. You come on natural and beautiful. If you're looking for a good relationship, you come natural and beautiful. Okay? You're not coming to the relationship. I have to have on this and have on that and have on this to please them. That's a demonic person. And that's the way they want to see you as a demon. They want to see you dressed this way. They want to connect to the demon. They want to be with you. They don't want to be with you naturally. But the natural days are coming back. The natural days are here now that we're going to have to come out soon. All of us are going to have Afro. All of us are going to have nice skin. We're not going to have the bleaching cream. A lot of things going to change. Things are not going to be like it is now. All those manufacturing from the factory and everything that they're making, all these things, going to shut down. There's new things is going to build. New skincare, new this, new that, everything that works in our favor of health. Not of dressing up like a clown every day, like sometimes you do all the lash for me, yes, or sometimes I don't even like it, but we use it for come life only sometimes. I'm not going to lie. 
But sometimes I don't like today was supposed to put on. I was like, I don't feel like putting on that stuff on my face right now. I don't feel like I don't feel like up to it to put on a makeup on my face today. I was like, I don't feel like I don't feel up to it. I don't feel up to it all the time if you paint up yourself like a lunatic all the while. I don't feel up to it. Yes, Simone, fake body, fake spirit, and dead soul. Yes, mama. Exactly. The spirit of God is of the truth and righteousness and light, no darkness. Yes, Mrs. Phillips. You put on your panty already because you get ready for work. <laughs> Don't put on your breast your panty because you get ready for work, baby. <laughs> Reaction said, more my baby. More my baby, me miss you. Eh, as somebody may know this, I miss you too, you know, but I know who, you know. But as somebody may know me good, you know. Miss you too, miss you too. Come I know somebody within me soul. I mind tell us, I call this, you know. But anyway, let us go on, go on. Let us mind tell me that. Good boy, my, my. I, I call, call me know you. My mind tell me my ex-boyfriend call, you know. I him, you know. I am, I must call. Me the boy that was so sweet. He said, good, me love the boy, you know. I must have to flesh the boy, my body longs until he bend to the side. Reaction, I mean, who are you? The body long till he bend to the side. I used to love you. Boy, may I tell you? May I tell you the truth? May I tell you? Mm-mm. May, may I tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. When me gone with God, no, me can't think about the body bend to the side unless he right. It's my darling. But I see it on the chosen page here. Yes, yes. Miss Phillips, I love you too. <laughs> just just wash good body long till it bend pan said nice boy you man call put on some tricks as a nice boy me tell you man oh god me think a reaction my mind tell me say him cause i am alone no me buy more so every time he come by me know say man that come my mind tell say man that come why him know me buy me nickname more 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 <laughs> god bless you man my mind tell me say you know but my god just go on my mind keep telling me Yes, me used to look good in me and the boy that went through a lot of things, you know. And we never have no food or nothing, me I tell us that me is a real hustler. Me go outside, me saw one big belly man, me like got a 90 dents to go buy soap, and me saw one big belly man. And me not talk about no, you know, so don't get me wrong. I'm the sinful time, you know, but I'm big belly man. And the man said to me, so where you going, you know? Come to work out all the time, I make sure I look good. So I tell the man, I'm going to the 99 cent store over there to buy some soap, you know. He said, Why are you going there to buy this soap? I said, Because I only like two dollars alone. I'm going to look like a small bottle of soap. I can so wash whatever I can wash, you know. He must say, No, man, come jump in the van. Let me take you to the, the supermarket, you know, and thing. And you just pick up something. You, you, what about food? I said, No, I don't have no food. He said, All right, come. And jump and we jump in the fan and the man was so fat. Eh? The man belly was so big. I mean the man belly was so the man was huge. And a regular size man me at talk about, you know. Man, the man big like giant man, the man, but the man was a nice man to me, you know what I mean? But the man the man he lied on permanent time, that must press me out. <laughs> oh, me I tell you, say, a man came around the supermarket and me and call live, you know. Me and call live, I think a reaction right there, so no, me and call live. And we live in our room. And one next orange girl, she lives on the other side, but we share kitchen and bath in the apartment. Like one room on the other side and one by the kitchen and bath in the middle. And so we share. So anyway, we go to the supermarket with the man and we pick up one big shop in Kiyat and we start to shop. The man should just pick up what you want. We pick up some big bag of rice. We pick up, we pick up all kind of something we could get for buying. We buy some cow skin. We buy cow foot. We buy all kind of something. Tin macro. We buy all kind of something. We say the shop, the cat shop in Kiyat full. That's the amount of food. Cat pull up to the top. The man never joke, the man should just buy it. The man have it like that, you know. Women never pick up certain things, the man had to pick up more things I put in there. Some cereal just grab me and just throw them and they throw them in there for me. The man like me. I tell me work out night and day and I make sure my body stiff for the devil. You know? I tell us I know we can see it, you know. Remember, I know we can see it and I've been there. Remember, I used to throw a hook like fish and catch them. So I know, and I catch myself tonight. And I never know me catch. I catch myself and catch hell. But anyway, the pack up in the man cash out now. The man said, where me live? I said, I live right here. You know, but um, I live with my aunt. The time my boyfriend me live with, you know. So all the bags, them man load all the bags them from the from the van. You know, I whip a bags those from the van, and he take it up the step because I know for me alone carry, and he carry it into the first door, and to the second door. I mean, I make him come to the third door where I live. Make him come to the second door inside the building and put on the bag them right there. So, so my what we do when I come and I bring him in, I bring him in, I bring him in, I bring him in, I bring everything, pack up, whip a food and sit here, you know. And him said to me, said, um, 
Remember, you promised you was going to give me some of the food to so make sure you call me when you finish cooking, right? I'm say yes, no problem, you know. No problem, man. It was a nice man. Maybe we couldn't get a good husband in time, maybe, you know, goody. But then, then I, mean, I think them something. The man was big to me. I never mean, like no man was so big like that. I mean, I ate them, you know, but the man was like real in belly, real big, like real, real, real big. What I mean, real big, I mean, real big. So, um, I mean, I talk about regular extra belly, big belly, man. I talk about real big. So, anyway, bring the groceries. I mean, I'm come and the man gone. I'm bring them inside and knock and call what my door. I mean, say, help me bring the bag. Let me bring them. Load the bag. Me have soap. Me have bleach. Me have any kind. Of... Let's go in and put some peas on the fire if you start boil. Me make some red peas and some cow skin. Make sure call food ready, you know. Cow skin, I'm call inside. They lie down inside. They asleep. Boy, pretty and look good. <laughs> in time day. <laughs> Most of you watch the, um, <laughs> you never have no papers. And then I watch the, um, I watch the TV sitting inside. They come, me come. I'm a cook man and game. Can you know me fling up a pan when I'm ready and same thing? So anyway, you now the man call now. When the man called me, tell him I'm so sorry I didn't even get to cook. And so what happened? I said, man, my aunt took sick. I had to go to the hospital, you know, and I couldn't get to cook no food and stuff, you know. And so I run out to the hospital. I'm left back from the hospital. I'm over my aunt now. I'm not even home and stuff, you know, but I'm going to get back to you tomorrow. And so I let you know what's going on. I'm so sorry, blah, 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 and tell the man that I lie, me, I tell the man that I'm not up in the house in there, grind with Carl. Carl, don't you have the cold skin and the belly full, much plate of food, and we have food for service for a while, because you know things not going on, and we love each other. And I say, one piece of performance with the cold skin inside there, <laughs> Miss Phillips. <laughs> Phillips said, true, true. One piece of performance, and boy, I burn up my skin inside there, you know. Let me love Carl. Hey, Carl, that's money. It's supposed to be my husband, you know. It was supposed to be my husband. Me and boy, they been through a lot. And when the breaking pine came now, come to love him a lot, you know. And he started to get out of hand. He made a go one place, go strip, go dance. And we not trust him one come. So I say, all right, come and see what me do. Because I do not know over there. So I make him come. When Carl come over there, I strip. So I strip and I make the money, Carl, I get back to our next girl. Carl, I pass money over to the next girl. Where I danced to. So I was like, I got so goddamn mad, me and him pissed off for the whole night when I reached home. I was so mad because I was like, you see me making money to pay the bills and stuff. And when gotta pay, yeah, I give back to an ex girl asking skin on him. That's something I bring up places like this, you know. I just want to see that I'm not doing nothing wrong, so you know, for where me come work, you know. And so on. The men the follow up for that. And he go on till one day, I go to one work with him, brother. And he go to a couple of jobs with him, brother. Never bring the money with him, he must have left the money with him, brother. And the girl from Jamaica, we used to talk. To be phone come America, and me at the house answer the phone and tell me if me not think say me go come back home and this and that and I argue with me. So I was like, what? And I know say I talk to somebody in a Jamaica and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that go on with that so and in brother and him talk and he's like, I know when my brother talk about what he want and I go on woman house from the same place he meet woman the street place me carry me no, my God woman house. So I said to him say call. Me, no, me no say that I got the woman also and lie to me. I made him attack and me I try to hide and I listen. You understand me? And as in brother, they gone and get dressed man and put on his shirt and I walk home. I just rush him with a spray back with the bleach in it. And spray the bleach on his shirt and bleach out the one I shirt, burn up one up the one I orange shirt. I said, I know you're lying to me. So go on where you go and see him where, you know. And he come back and say, Moi, you know, I tell you the truth, Moi. I tell you the truth. I have the woman in the middle going, you know, hustle a little money and thing, you know. Because I told me I hustle, you know. But he say, and then I do not know the woman feet, you know, so the woman like him and the woman have money, you know, the woman really like him also. So anyway, in change his shirt, I say, when you go by the man, I say, my name, and say, one flower, I can't go get the woman, I say, you have to do things. And I say, listen, since you go go woman, you have to pay the rent and some things are easy with me. You have to pay the rent this time. So when you got the woman here tonight, make sure you bring the money and bring the rent money back. And make sure they are before 11 o'clock and come back. Before 11 o'clock, he reached back in the house and he put on the money on the dresser for the rent. All the money, I say, well, you're not going to be in here. So come and smell you and think, say, God, this sitting outside there. And sitting and think, boy, the boy fly off in close. The boy smell good and sweet, seeing where he left the house. The boy fly in the bed and give it to me, you see. But I love that boy then when he was in the flesh, you know, and so on. <laughs> <laughs> the boy. <laughs> Everybody goes to them. I'm really young, you know. They tell me what age. I'm really young man. They tell me they're really young. I will miss them time there. I'm really young man, probably in my twenties or something. I'm really young goody. But anyway, um, I saw that go with that and um until one day I come and um men get in an argument at night. 
and he decided to lock the door, take away the key from me, and he started to pull me up by one foot to Come out, man, come out this and that. And police then come and say, Shit, try, try to get some man for me or something or something. And but I said, well, it was my girlfriend doing that, too. I would have been mad to be upset, you know, and thing. But I wasn't that me that do anyway. But anyway, go on to one day, and I'm say to him, say, anytime you try drive me by one foot again and put your hand for me, I'm going to finish you. Come I love me, but I'm serious. Come I'm not playing my man. So me know what I shouldn't do what I do, but me, me, me know me always a work. That's why me always a shop for them something I'm not good here. It's a long time me a shop for them kind of thing I was seeing with. And I don't know, you know. I don't know you see me a shop for them kind of thing I was seeing with, you know. And I don't know. Me have one small one when me the buy in the village. And Carl come the day and he get a call. Can the phone and call it. No, my roommate, no worry about she, man, and blah, blah, blah. And he hacked me to the core when Carl did that do that. And I said, no, I'm going pay the full bin in here. So I take sit in the scissors and cut the phone card. You know, the curly part of the phone card, cut it. And when I hear the girl on the next side of the line, the man gets a mad man start to fight me. Carl start to fight me. And punch me with him fist. And bust me out and all that. And when I see that, I go on my mattress and draw up my big knife for me. I tell him, I'm not do it again. I promise him, I'm not do it again. And I pull out the knife. And I slash him across his face with it. I shouldn't do that, but I did. You see? Can I get angry and I love him? I mean, I like, yeah, I take out a woman and do what I do. I mean, I try best to make things work. I try to think I can. <laughs> for what I can to make things work. <laughs> I try my best, you know what I'm saying? And um, and so on. And I saw now, he end up, can he take out the AC out of the window and I try to throw the AC for me. Pull it out, the AC, you know, and boom, and try to throw it for me and I miss me, you know. And I go to the bathroom and look when the ambulance come and care and go to the hospital. I mean, when I say things, it was that bad. So my run and go on with my cousin friend and dreadlocks up the road and the basement to the dreadlocks they live. And with my cousin friend. And I'm gonna drink two corona. I go there, drink two corona bone sniff come and say, boy, things get bad, you know, you know what I mean? You know what you do. So I run one o'clock at night, I go down there. When I go down there around one o'clock at night and knock on the window, not an answer. When I look try to keep the key at the door, in 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 a work. So now I get angry. And I say, yeah, so you're gonna lock me out of my own place. When I pay for and everything, I say you're gonna do it now. You know, so I get so angry. And um, me they come back with a knife from up the road. I mean, you know, like police are come and take the knife, try to broke the bush under the window. I try to eat up the window, I go through the window, I go finish him. Me shouldn't think like that, but the devil was up on me. I show all the devil wicked. Because they are prison now. But the lock, I couldn't go in. I take the door, take the knife and go down the bottom door and shoot the knife under the door, people in the door. And the police come and go down for the knife and say, See the knife here that you had? You go in the jail, my skinny white man. I was like, No, let go off me. Stop risking arrest. I mean, I tried to jump, woman, go can dive, she had dive. The woman, my white woman, just jump on me, you know. I tried to woman, jump on me straight to the ground, I tell you. The woman looked like a river, she had dive, but I just put out her hand and jump on me. And I fall back on the ground, woman, on top of me. And they put the and drop me, and rain was falling to me, get wet up. And Carl, when I handcuffed the memory, I Carl, come on the door and say, Maya, the reason why I make a guy jail tonight is because I love you. Because that anger that you're carrying inside, you're gonna end up taking somebody's life and you're gonna have to go to prison for the rest of your life. I mean, I want to happen to you. So right now, I love you, and I'm gonna make a go to prison. I'm gonna make a go to jail. And that's all I'm saying. And go back in. I'm looking at one face plastered up on one side and one side of my sip on the face. I say, Oh my god, I feel so bad enough. I love the boy. The devil come in and do them kind of thing, man. So I end up in a jail now and I did that till the next day. And the next day, I see the judge and, and thing and was able to come out and own a card. It's because he never come to he never come to the jail. He never come there. So because he never come there, they have to let me out. They let me out. I couldn't go there, so none at all. You know what I'm saying? I forgot my mother. I got my sister all scratched with the road. I mean, I was wearing the same size. I get a pants and a t-shirt from my mother. I was even a cross from her. I got my mother house. And they let me in. Then I said, I have some problems. She's going to the back room and stay in the back room. I can't take the back room in the bedroom and stay around so. That's one thing, you know. When you feel like sometimes, but that never lasts long at all. That never lasts long before she kicked me out. But anyway, that was good for then. And I saw it when the people in the call of get noticed in Kian live there no more. And I said, I go to Connecticut. I remember I got a strip club and I go to and I go work for the whole weekend and get her like $2,000 and put in a car call. And I tell her, oh, me, oh, me doing, I'm doing, I really try to get the next place because he was getting the next place in Kian with the place and go check the barber man. I said, the man, I want to two bedroom apartment to rent. And I like to rent it, you know, and so on. So I feel them more or less. I mean, Carl, I go live there. But I, him and him brother and brother moved there and live with him in the two bedroom. You know? And I was coming to visit him sometime. Was visiting sometime. And I couldn't tell my mother no more. Never know if he's still, I end up staying with him. I end up staying with him until I get ignorant and start to fight me. 
you start to fight now what it costs to fight and you go work and you go work and when you come at the ceiling it was leaking water the place have like some like a glass ceiling thing water leak down and then come back and see the same and say yeah my brother they had chat the whole day i mean if you think something like that with him brother or whatever and the water the secret and then him start to fight and then he start to punch when the brother going out and start giving some ratted punch and say stop fighting the girl because the girl did a feel we do something like that and so on you know and but before they actually move just before they move in call me with my mother house because me did a good good night the bell ring and we got me see some people in a black and white you know one car come two men dressed in a black and white come out so then come for come car me go jail I said, can I go to jail for what? I just came out of jail today. They said, bring the paper. I bring them the paper and show them. I said, okay then. And then they left. And then, I guess it's a warrant enough for me. Arrest me. I look for me. You know, me they run. And so on. And I saw me end up, the case end up get shown up. But I, I mean, before the case end up showing me about all the protection, not to go there. I go there. Call, call me. I said, Maya, come with the good pum pum. Come over here. So come give me some of the good pum pum. And just come now, man. I love you. I want you. Know, I said, I'm going to come court. I know about nothing. You know, I love you, man. I'm sorry, really. I'm take her. Yeah, girl, I check for you, man. And thing, you know. And I go over there. When I go over there, I tell you. Because I start to work up a girl. I'm starving. I sit here, you know. And you hear boom, 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 the door. You know, so the, the dirty word girl for the next side look like she's not there with calls. Like, you know, she should call police. I know she's not supposed to add a picture. I'm not supposed to do that. Girl, I have to get up and leave my panty, me run up my panty, everything. Draw the clothes to come up before they come catch me and jump in one taxi and drive to go back to my yard before they come catch me on the area and lock me back in a jail. So I had to run. So when Carl got there, you know, I talk to the landlord. You no, know, him got there, you know, and the landlord I talk with the guy and his guy. You know, what am I watching and I do like that for? And him out there now, I talk to them, and him have on a sweatpants sitting where he pull on. Goody, when me a pass, me see call banana. She up in her clothes, and the top of wet. You know, it a leak, it a leak through the clothes. And anybody look down, we see the whole top of the banana wet and a leak through the clothes. When me pass, me see the banana with water leak wet through the clothes, but the top of his stiff when the water wet through it up. And me just run, because me couldn't do nothing, me run and jump in one taxi. I'm rich back home, I was shaking so much, I was so glad I get in my house, you know, because I don't want to go to jail again. <laughs> and so on. <laughs> and I saw that go so till I left from there, so now I said, boy, if you go and make a money in the car, two things go. So our old apartment over Van de Veer, where um, Maxine and them move out, um, they take the old apartment, where the government didn't appear welfare and they didn't fix it and left it. I'm going there, I fix up and paint it and put two bed, and I start cook soup. And I turn the kitchen in one bar. So call in there sell beer and in there sell soup. And the girl them come if you come strip. Me and my like head together. Pee pee clock clock it to away. You know what I mean? So call in the kitchen and sell soup and beer over the project now. For the abandoned place. So I take and paint and put two bed in there. The girl in the room, go and do it and do it. One of the real pictures she go in there and come out to that mode full of fluid. From the man. You know, so I'm going in the kitchen, the girl find us in the kitchen. I'm going there. I'm almost she and call them face together. When I see that thing, I get so goddamn mad. I say, the nasty girl, you have so many of the girl up in your face and all them. So, what can I sit next to this man and with this girl? I want to, man. I get so angry, bro, with him. I feel left the same time. Yo, come in a joke with Carl, you know? Come in love him, you know? One day, I did that with him. I made some chicken wings and some rice. And my cousin called me, see him, cousin. I said, my cousin, I said, you know, so call, call my phone. And I said, you know, who is this? Call me. And I said, what? She said, oh, yeah, call, call my phone. I came and try to look at me. I said, my cousin, you're crazy. I said, I'm going to talk to me and get up and run. And he run out of the project, and the same project come in around him. Run out of the project, and he run down the subject. I start to run behind him. He couldn't run fast on me. He run on the train, and he jump over the train. I run and jump over the train barrier too. And as he go on the train, I grab him by the back of his shirt and ease him back out of the train and bring him back home. You see? I was a tough woman, man. I said, I run on the man all the way to the subway. And when he go on the train, I jump, jump over the rail and get on the train. Forget her from me. And I jump over the rail and grab him and pull him back out of the train door. And bring him back home if you come to what can I tell between you and my cousin? Don't play with me. Yeah, man. But I um I saw it went down with call and many didn't love it kind until me left from there. So I'm not going to no more man. One day I'm not waiting to see him in a year from him. One week guy, I'm not here from him, two weeks, I'm not here from him. I want to walk to call me guy host me hear nothing from him. And I start to pine on because I love him so much. And when I go to one next man, I saw one girl about to three times the size of mine and trust me, it's to look good. Bigger than Brazilian them. I saw the girl that I'm Brazilian never in, like she naturally look like that. Me see the girl come there to him. She and two other man, I want a man of a tool. And the girl I saying when she rent a place, I'm kind of the real estate at this time. We move on a child in the real estate and something. Oh, the place when girl never good and something she want her money back her. 
she and her partner, they break up and they must promise I can go live there with her. Some kind of same thing how it go. But anyway, my God, I sent her, I said, give me soul, give me my passport and something to give a put on. Come in, I don't know what the project, you know. And I something to give me papers, and I give a put on and so on. And him say, him say like, he's not going to give me nothing or something to turn the house. Trust me, because police to come. And me have to call police. And me have to call police because when me hear them attacks, I'm going to take him out. I say, no, regardless of what, I'm not going to make them take him out. And I say, the tool, when they come with, I go to call and call police real quick and say, they have, they have the tool and they're right here. And where they at? So then you say, police are coming the next one, jump in the van of the tool and drive off and gone. I left the next one. You understand me? Actually, I try saving life at the same time. When I grow in the car, now a Spanish girl was with me. We follow me go over there from the project. And when we go in the corner, when we love the boy, me fat me drop down and faint in the roadside. The way me love the boy, me say me drop down and me faint at the roadside. The way me love the boy. And I look at him, look at you when I'm really come this far now. Trust me. And as so me I go to the house now, when me give him the money to help rent, and me I go back and forth and I eat and from there so to my mother house back and forth. I saw I saw it I go. Me I try all on, you know. Me rent one like a room down by um by Fulton Street. Upstairs, I just me rent one little room from Clark. Yeah, me live up there for a little while. I'm me living in a little room. I mean, to go and see him sometime and come. I mean, come, come check me down. Me then me go buy him sometime. You know, it's space. You know, space. And me end up pregnant. <clears throat> me end up pregnant now. I'm mean, sorry to tell us that this is like the way it is. You know, me really sinful. I'm mean, start me ask God for forgiveness because that me should I keep. You know, call this mother apart. I call now. You know what I mean? I mean, end up pregnant. I'm saying, you know, and I mean, say to him, say, you know, say, make me pregnant. And him say, well, that make two of no. I two of no I breathe, because my one next girl I breathe too. So I, I two of no. When he said that to me, it hurt my feelings so bad. I'm not going to lie that. I decided, you know what, I'm not going to keep going through this torture. I'm not going to keep going through this. I'm going to get rid of this baby. I'm not be a part of this up and down. I can't bother. I can't bother. I can't bother. I, get to me, I get into my worst end now. Like it'll get to me now after all these years, you know? And things. So I did, I did get rid of it. But when I get rid of it, I never go to the doctor. I do it myself. I buy some parsley and some other sitting when they want one or uh, Asian woman. They tell me if I buy over that area of the same place where she lives, she has sell it in the motor door and drink and then get back your period. And <clears throat> him get mad and say, Maya, come to feel sick the night and I go to a lot of pain, you know. And they come and say, Maya, what's wrong? I mean, I want to tell him, say that me that do. You know what I mean? But when he find out, he was so angry with me. But in the time, he said, I'm going to go like that to the woman. Then he informed me, said the girl of Jamaica is coming to America, can live with him. I remember saying, I'm going to get daddy judge. Round the corner, own a house. One old man see me and like me, start to become a friend. And he said, you know, I feel living in that one room no more. You know, me have a big house around the corner. You know what I'm saying? You can bunks many times, honey. You're so beautiful. Come and bunks in by mistake. And I said, sorry for bunks in public. Old man at the store. Man said, no. It's okay, honey. The man started coming at fifty fifty dollars for my lunch and check for me. Men so came up to the men so and chatting at you. Nice little man in Daddy George. And I saw my girl on the corner, go look for him one time. I see my one of him dead around him, go look for him. And he said, No, me there, a cracked girl, and the bed a smoke crack around there. And she lock off the phone so the man can't get no call. So when he check him, he was like, Why did you do that? You can't be doing that thing. And he go show me the whole house, show me the whole house, and so on. He showed me one night, he goes to the apartment tonight. My wife is used like a party room with the wife in a nursing home for over 20 years. And I'm going to show me all these kind of things, you know. And then the next day, he called me and said, Come here, I have something to show you. And I said, What? You know, I said, Well, um, the apartment here. I said, No, I don't have the money for pay for it. No, you know. He said, No, 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 I'm not charge you for it. I'm giving it to you. And he gave me the key. So I don't think I have to go work, clean it up and paint it up, but I'm giving it to you. And he gave me that apartment. So that's why I was living and taking care of Daddy George in that place. So he wanted to give me that part of that house for myself. But what I didn't do, I didn't go and get no lawyer. I should have got a lawyer. But I didn't. So the woman know. That should be his stepdaughter. She come back with lie and take away everything that he put my name in, put my name is in her account and everything. I'm take care of this man properly, cook for him, clean, take out the garbage, run the building, actually collecting the rent from upstairs, bring it along to him, like actually doing everything as his daughter, you know. But Carl, him like Carl too. You know, Carl come in each family day, you know. So I tell him, I have a boyfriend and Carl and he go and check me sometime. He says, all right, you know, no problem, your boyfriend go look for you so. You know, you have your own place, and I like to so tell you what you do. And Carl come and look for me. So Carl come there sometime, come spend the night with me, and so on. Right? So this particular night, Carl come spend the night, the man, and Carl supposed to go home, Carl now go. I said, oh, Carl no gone home. Carl has stay, stay, stay around, hang, hang around. Carl want from 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I go 11 o'clock in the day, 12 o'clock, Carl still want to grind. So I saw Carl want to grind so late till at 12 o'clock a day. This whole pack grinding my skin, man. My skin a burn, my man. What, what's going on? I think to myself, that time I never know the last time I go see Carl, why am I do that to me? 
when you don't turn on, I said to me, say, Maya, what's the name? It's like, it's like, it's like, Andrea, you know, so she come on Friday, though. Me get you with her and she come. And me say, what? Me say, come out. Get up and come out and don't come back here. Me say, don't you ever, ever see me face again. Me say, don't you ever come here. I say, my daddy judge a friend, you know, me say, you want, you know, the papers. I had a talk to this guy and his girl in a, in a the Queens and the guy and his girl have a house and she working at the bank. So he want getting papers and married to the guy and his girl now. So me get daddy judge now if you go down town with them, if you go be the witness so the girl thinks that me and my like family. The girl no know say me I'm. So when he come with the girl and pull up at the door now and she a wave to like family and say hello, hi and so on to her, you know. She don't know say me I die inside because that's my man. And my man you're there with, you know. And but I do all the work and make sure I get him papers, make that the judge do the swim to that, make him marry to the girl so he can get him papers and do everything. So when he come to me now and tell me, say, I bring the next girl from Jamaica to cast a war and me and him life, whatever. He might bring her to America, come live with him. I couldn't believe it, and he did. So I call him phone one time, she answered, she's home with him. In the same place, I pay the 2000 again to get the apartment, for help get the apartment there. And then she live at the panel, I buy she the pan. So I feel a certain type of way, pain like, you know. Then he said she's pregnant, and she, she must end up have two children for him. I think a two. She ended up have two children for him, I think. And the last time I heard from him is when he was in Long Island. He had one big house in Long Island. And he was doing good. And in calm, the time I move, I live in a Dickmas Park. I move from Daddy George, time when the people start to fight. Me, I go rent one studio apartment over there, nine dollars a month. And I was over there and, and so on. Go back and forth and for Daddy George. Some cook for him sometimes, see me and try the best me can, even though they dump me out, you know? And so on. And the woman um, lose the house, but she was still collecting rent from me. And she was still out there. I think someone was telling Carl and Carl, said, give me the number, the address, and let me check and find out what's going on with the house. I mean, make your know. So him check and find out. So, oh, she don't own the house. The bank take the house back already. So don't give her no more money. Can you that money for move somewhere else? So he had came and bring the papers. My brother must be driving. No one van, he must be drive past. And I go there a long time. And I see him and I see him. And he gave me the papers. And I look nice to him. I said, thank you, man. I'm go inside. And he say. I tell him, I mean, I look at place. I say, well, I have a house in Long Island. I'm going to give you one part if you live. But the problem is, you have to go pretend as a babysitter. You can't make, me, can't make sure you know what I know you. Or you can't take care of my two kids, them, you know, like a babysitter and thing, you know. And that way, you were close and she wouldn't really know. I tell him, so, no, no, I'm not living the kind of lifestyle. I say, no, I love you too much. I'm not going to carry that kind of lifestyle. I'm not going to carry it. So, I never go feed because of that. I never, never got paid for that. I think he said, I'm going to something like what, $500 and take care of the kids. Man. Yeah, something like that. But I said, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going. And then the next time I hear from him, he said, I was down south. And I judge us somewhere. I'm going to fix up some house down here. From that, I'm not hear from him no more from the last time. Um, him call, I call the phone. Some people answer the phone. I said, we don't like Jamaican. Come here, make we finish you. Make we take you. Come down here. Come down here. Yeah, come, come. So when people have said that, you know, come and make them take my life and then I like Jamaican fan film for me, figure more than this, I must take him out down there. Come never hear from him again. So that is the end story of it. I never hear from me call call again. Never hear from him again from that. I mean love him. But I never hear from him again. Yeah, but I saw you go. So I mean, that's show you with when, when you have a man in your life and it's not about God, you know, walk with God, all kind of thing reach you. Cause remember safe call. Was a man of God I and mean, he was into God. He's could never would have married, now have a great future, have big houses, big business now, and manifest big. But because, you know, and he might be a man that never really work out because him find out so one guy from Jamaica keep calling her all the time. Call now and him talking on the internet and he must be busting at the thing and see what I'm a type and say. And he realized that the two pit names she have, none of them no belongs to him. She go to Jamaica the boy breed and bring up the belly. She, none of them no belongs. So when she come up, she breed. None of the pit names no belongs to him. Not even one out of the two. You see? And everything lose up relation. Just for your girl, we're going to give you two pit when it belongs to your two jacket. That's how I go. She end up call police for him. You end up get locked up in a jail and all kind of thing and try to send him to prison. So if they finally get sent him to prison or not, but she was trying to. So that is what it become. That is what become of it. Yeah. Yeah, but I love him and so on. So every time it's a reaction, come on and say, more and more, I wonder if I call. Reaction, I know you're right. <laughs> <laughs> my love, no, anyway, I go run and go left on now. I got sick food. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry now. Can I mean, eat for days and eat a little soup stuff? That's the thing. I wonder what I go eat now. I go make the noodles or what I go do. Make something. I'm hungry, goody. But I can't eat no rice. You know, I mean, I eat rice like that. Sometimes I feel like I'm like a spoonful. I eat rice like that. 
But my son said, no, mom, you can't eat no rice because when they eat the rice, them take the rice and then they hatch the egg with the rice. Them love the rice. And they take from the rice and they hatch the eggs. So you can't eat none of that. So I don't know what I'm going to eat. Even the noodle probably hatch them. I don't know. So I don't know what I'm going to find. I'm going to find something. I need something nice for my tongue, right? I'm going to suffer for all them days. I think that's the problem with my eating. I'm going to my lot. You know, that's my thing. I love to eat. So I take off all this weight and no time I put it back on. But I'm not put on a lot. Just a little bit. Not too much. Hi, carry on. It's carry on. Hi, baby. How you doing? Love you. Love you. You mean I bleach for all long and all them something, dear? I mean, I'm not bleach for long and all them something, the baby. I just saw it. My mother got like trade. But I go go now. I tell me. I love my love. I thank you for supporting me. I'm going to go cook today. What you going to cook, Sopina B? What you going to cook? What you going to cook? What you going to do? What you all going to cook? Eat rice one once in a blue moon. I don't eat rice like that because it make your belly too big. But I love it. Yo, me love the rice. Me eat rice every single day. But me know, so me can't drink and make you need them hurt your information and need make your belly big and make you get sick. But once in a blue moon, is not me not mind. Once in a blue moon, is okay. Black rice, me can't eat any time. But the white rice, that, that's it. Sweetie, sweetie Jean, what's up, baby? Oh my goodness, I'm so long, I'm gonna see you. Hi, sweetie, God bless you too. So, Pina B said, I'm going to cook. I am going to work. I'm going to miss the story. Go ahead, baby. I love you. <clears throat> I know we are gonna survive, Mama. We are gonna survive. Hey, Zia. Hey, Olivet, baby. What's up? Me not day, man. Me day, man. I take it easy. Gaza Queen. What's up? I like that name, Gaza Queen. What, up, baby? <laughs> Miss Phillips gone, gone work already. She gone. She was supposed to gone work. I'm sure she gone already. Simone Phillips. She gone work. She must gone work by now. Yeah, reaction. So I'm going to go. I love you. I hope I'm going to feel a call, but I love you anyway. I mean, know I love you. I mean, I know who you is from my past, but I know somebody will love me. I love you too. Come going to deal with people I love. Trust me. Aliyah. Oh, you're glad to see me, Aliyah. Glad to see you too, baby. Oh, God bless you. You know, Goody, we are doing some critical time now. We're going to some critical time now and just get yourself ready up. We're going to some big changes to the universe right now. Last time I dreamed some funny dream like some aliens. I'm not explaining to me. I remember everything. But it's like a body. And if I was naked, I'm going to take up these things off my body like some gel, body blue gel. We look like some sparkle of gold in it or something. Yeah, look blue like my ear, but a gel. With like some gold sparkling, like it was all over my body. Like me never have on a clothes and something. I don't know what kind of transformation that is. But some weird things is happening. I could feel it. I could feel it, ma'am. I could feel it. Miss Phillips, Miss Phillips, I had spelt flour with chia seed porridge with fresh coconut milk. So nice. Nice and sweet. That good, baby. Me never tried that, but it sounds good. Wow, fresh chia seed porridge with coconut milk. Wow, I never had that before. It sounds like it's good. Jean, hey, Oliver, glad to see you here. Yes, baby, I'm here. I'll try to come on again later. I'll try, okay? I don't want to promise I'm going to come up. I'm going to try. I'm going to have to fast. No, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get something on my belly and charge up my phone and come back on later on tonight. This evening or something. I love you. And so on. So I saw me look, but you know, and let me show you before. See, I'm very skinny now. I'm so skinny at this point. I'm, you don't know, I say over skinny, but I'm skinny. I'm a pee here, and anybody come to you and darkness come, I forgot to deal with them, I'm with you. What do you do? I'm sitting on my mouth here, because I'm not joking with nobody. Nobody now coming here. If you come, I'm going to run me over. Then I'm going to run me over, because any time they come through the door, once they come to it, I have permission to the door. Any hand come to it, I come off. May I take it off? May I take it off here? Yeah? I can't roll up. I miss a maga. I'm not a baby, so wait a roll up. I go. See me? Maga. Maga, no, my girl. Maga, no. Let me put it on more. Let's see. Oh, shit. But you are dead good. Where we get to her? Now go shop them, darling. Can't use a fruit. Can't I do when it comes? Can't call me. Me know when I call. Me love you. Your life clean up. Me take you back. Yeah.
Yeah, so I go. <laughs> Love you. I let your life clean, we take you back. Yeah, no matter how much years, cause that's a love go. As long as your life clean. <laughs> Someone is elevate me there. No, you reach real quick, man. That's good, baby. That's work real quick. That's good. That's good, baby. So I'm gonna go now because the battery dead. The battery actually die, die, die. Believe me. So I love one of me. I put up and sit on the case and put them down and we'll find something to eat. And come back on later and we talk some more. I love you guys. Mwah. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Miss Phillips. Thank you, sweet Jean. Thank you so much. Um, carry on. Thank you so much, carry on. Thank you so much, um, Gaza Queen. Thank you much, um, Isa. Thank you so much, um, Melissa here. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Reaction, me tell us if you call me, take your back. Don't worry, I love you. <laughs> I love you, don't worry about it. NBA, what's up? Balson, don't come on today, because I must say they are working busy. Because you come and say, I'm the moderator, the moderator. <laughs> NBA, all right, good night. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later, all of you. I love you, okay? Lady, me love it. to lady, what's up? Yes, lady, big up yourself also. All are on, right? To so big up on yourself. And later we talk some more. God bless you. Come my battery done. All right? Mwah. Love you guys.